If you've ever wondered how people are building these massive email lists that have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 100,000 email subscribers on it, I'm going to teach you exactly how we can build an email list and why having an email list is so important to grow our online business and online sales. Hi, my name is Brittany and this is my channel, Making Money with Mama, where I teach you how to make a full-time income on part-time hours, just working in your spare time. And without further ado, let's get started. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create an opt-in page in Canva so that we can start generating leads with emails. So first things first, if you don't already know, what is an opt-in or what is a freebie? What this process is, it's basically referring to where you create some sort of free guide, free ebook, free resource, and you put it on a landing page in exchange for an email address. So basically you are granting permission for your free education, your free resource, and they are granting you permission with their email address to market them through email marketing. Once you receive their email, you can then promote to them with affiliate offers, your own digital products, or any other type of promotion that you wanna run through email campaigns. And I know you might be thinking, who reads emails anymore? Who clicks on emails anymore? Who makes purchases based off of emails? Well, actually it's been proven time and time again, year after year after year, year, including 2023 and moving on to 2024, that email marketing offers the highest ROI, which means return on investment. And you might be thinking, well, what does that mean, Brittany? Well, return on investment means whatever money you put in, you're making 20 times, 30 times, 40 times amount back. So your return on investment in email marketing is extremely higher than any other return on marketing efforts. So why do we use these opt-in pages? Like I said, one is to build an email list. So when you're making a free resource in exchange for an email address, you are building a super awesome, credible email list. And this email list is going to be an asset for you so that you can directly communicate with your target audience within your targeted niche. Which brings me to my next point is that we wanna use opt-in pages because they offer such targeted marketing. When you make a free resource or you make a freebie, you are doing it with a specific target audience in mind. And we're going to get in an example on how we are going to create this in just a minute, but it's important to understand why we're doing it first. Say you're in the parenting niche and you are creating a labor and delivery checklist. You know when someone opts into that labor and delivery checklist that they are a new mom potentially about to give birth. And why is that information so crucial for you is that you're gonna know exactly what that audience member or that individual is going to be needing. So you know when that individual opts into your checklist checklist that they are about to give birth, you know exactly what stage of pregnancy they're in and what they're going to be needing in the future months to come. You have exact insights already without even knowing that person on what types of stuff they're going to be looking at. They are probably gonna have a new baby, right? So that means they're gonna need bassinets and swaddles and strollers and maybe breastfeeding supplies or formula feeding supplies. You can use that to your advantage by sending targeted emails with product offers that are going to be exactly curated to what they are going through. We also wanna use opt-ins because it helps build trust. When you have a free resource that provides a lot of value, that makes your authority go way up here. That makes your trust go way up here and people are more willing to buy from people that they feel have an authority in the field and that they feel like they can trust. They feel like they have an emotional connection to you, right? Because you're offering them such valuable insights into whatever their problem area is or whatever they're wanting more information on. So having a really solid freebie will help convert your sales when you're trying to target them later down the road. And like I kind of already mentioned before, it's one of the most cost-effective ways to grow an audience and market them. It's more cost effective than Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, blogging. It's literally the most cost effective way. All you have to do is create a freebie, get an email, and then email market them day after day after day. One last thing I want to cover before we actually get into the tutorial of how to make a freebie is what kind of freebies can I offer? What's even out there? There's more than just ebooks, but yes, one is ebooks or e-guides. Creating some sort of free ebook or free guide on the topic that you're trying to promote that is going to be a great and probably the most common way that people are using opt-in pages. So maybe it's an ebook on how to grow your sales. Maybe it's an ebook on how to sell on Etsy. Maybe it's an ebook on how to give childbirth naturally. Maybe it's an ebook on how to start a garden. All right, there's just so many different ebooks and different ideas that you can do for a variety, a variety of niches. A newsletter is another common freebie that people offer. Basically, you might send out a weekly newsletter that has all kinds of great information on the industry that you're targeting, and people opt in to get that information from you on a weekly basis. And then within that newsletter, you can link affiliate offers, your own offers, whatever you're trying to promote, while also still providing a ton of value within that newsletter that's going to keep people subscribed. Number three is a webinar, which is also a very common freebie free opt-in that a lot of people utilize, especially in the make money online niche. They'll have a 30 to 60 minute video that people can watch that gives them just enough information 
information about whatever topic they're wanting to learn about, you know, maybe really good insights on the industry, some information that's just getting them started on wherever they're trying to go, right? So if I'm in the breastfeeding niche, maybe I have a webinar on a few tips on how to latch and my story from going from a mom who wasn't able to get their baby to latch to this successful 18 month breastfeeding journey and give them just a few tips throughout that video to really build my authority, build my credibility so that they want to hear more about what I have to say after the webinar has ended. Fourth one is a checklist, which I kind of already mentioned, like a labor and delivery checklist, a cleaning checklist, a moving to college checklist. These are all things that people want to have in their back pocket, especially when they don't really know what they're doing. This is the first time I know when I was getting married, I had never been to a wedding before. My wedding was like the first wedding I'd ever been to. So I had no idea what I needed to put on my wedding shower registry or what I needed for a wedding or what all that involved, like having those checklists are very valuable to people who are starting at zero. And you can also link affiliate links within that checklist, which I'm gonna walk through how we do that too. It is such a great idea when you're doing checklists. Five is offering some sort of free trial. Maybe you're an affiliate for a product or service that has a free trial that you can offer to your audience, or maybe you are the digital product or you are the service and you can offer a free trial to your audience in exchange for their email so that you can keep targeting them to basically get them to continue their membership or their subscription to your services after the free trial has ended. And six, the discount coupon. This one is not as common, but if you have a discount to an affiliate product or you are offering a discount for yourself, so you might see something like, in order to claim this 20% discount, entering your email address, that's more so I see for like physical products, Shopify stores, things like that. And then what those stores do is they use that email address to continue to send you promotional emails about their products, discounts, coupons, sales, and all the works, okay? Now, without further ado, I'm sure you've been waiting for the tutorial. Let's jump into the tutorial. So here we are within Canva. If you don't already have a Canva account, go sign up. I have a 30-day free pro trial in the description box below. The pro benefits are so worth it, so I would definitely check it out. So we have in here, what will you design today? And I'm just going to put checklist because we are going to design a labor and delivery checklist today. We're not gonna go in through and design the entire thing. I'm just gonna teach you how to get started and you can pretty much figure it out from there. There, right so if we go through we can look at the different templates um usually i like looking for cleaning checklists because those are kind of oh like this one i really like this one we're gonna do customize this template and then all we have to do is take this template and drag and drop our different features text things like that so i'm gonna use my mouse to zoom in a little bit and we can go right into here and instead of cleaning checklist we're just gonna put childbirth checklist and we can see that it's a little off so we're just going to move it around it's so easy to move things around in canva and um, we have an image here that i want to replace with like someone in childbirth so i can do that by going over to this elements tab here and i'm gonna put like birth go to this photo section and here's a cute mom and her new baby in the hospital that's great um, and then we have these subsections, which is great for childbirth. So we can put like for mom, for baby, for dad, and then, you know, maybe for breastfeeding, and then, you know, like misc. Let's get this out of here. And then we can close this up. So things that a mom might need for childbirth, you know, you might want chapstick, um, a robe, nurse nursing bras baggy underwear uh you know shower sandals believe me you're gonna want shower sandals you don't want to shower in those hospital showers without something on your feet and then you could just go in and go in and fill each and every one of these options that are geared towards your niche now I'm gonna show you how also we can link affiliate links within our checklist too. So not only when someone opts into your checklist are they getting that free information, you have the potential to make a sale right from that checklist or right from your freebie without even having to do any email marketing yet, which is why I love creating free opt-ins so much too. So say we have nursing bras here, right? We can go over to Amazon or whatever company that you are an affiliate for. I'm just gonna do Amazon to keep it simple. We can do nursing bras. And then let's say I'm gonna, I'll link this big set, but they have a variety of different nursing bras and they'll need many anyways. All right, so then for Amazon to get my affiliate link, I go over to the Amazon Associates site, site stripe, go over to text, and then I'm going to copy this link over here, go back to my Canva, and I can highlight this nursing bras, and this little link button appears. I can click that, 
paste in my affiliate link. And now when I export this and someone downloads it, it creates an interactive PDF or interactive guide that they can click on. It'll take them to that affiliate link where if they buy it, then I get paid a commission on it. So that is the beauty of creating an opt-in page, having a checklist. So you're just making all sorts of sales right from the get-go on top of being able to reach them through email marketing after the fact as well. So let's say we've filled out this entire childbirth checklist. We can go over to this share button and we're gonna hit download. And this file type here, we're gonna wanna save it as a PDF standard. If there's several pages, we wanna save it all. If we only wanna save one page, we can click the different um, boxes here, but we will do the whole thing. And then we're going to hit download and save it to our desktop. So we have our free opt-in page. Now what do we do with it? How are we gonna get it out there to the public? I'm gonna break that down for you too. In the description box below, there is going to be a 14 day free trial to start Stand Store. And this is going to be the cheapest and most awesome platform that you have ever seen, okay? I have saved hundreds of dollars switching to Stand Store and everything is all in one place. You can create your opt-in pages, your sales pages, email marketing, it's amazing. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go to login. Okay, and there's gonna be two ways that you can do this. The first way is to just go down and hit add product and you're gonna go to collect emails and applications. And this is where you're gonna fill out all the information for your book. So you can choose image and we can put like new mom. You can also get images over on Canva, um, but we'll do this one. This is cute. Actually, that's baby's a little old. Try a newborn. Oh, perfect, baby at the hospital. Oh, that's so sweet. And then you're heading, you know, grab, or let's do, you want everything you need for childbirth. Grab your labor and delivery checklist here. Everything for mom and baby. And then submit and download, that's fine. And here's where you would upload that PDF that you just downloaded from Canva. So that way when they submit their email address and they hit submit and download, it automatically goes right to their inbox. Now, another way you can do this is by going over to funnels and you can hit create new funnel and then go to collect emails and applications. And this is where you can add a lot more information and make it more of like a sales page instead of just like a little blurb. So again, you could do picture newborn, childbirth checklist, everything you need for mom and and then basically here you could write an entire sales page pitching your free ebook what they're going to find in the free ebook it's just an extra step to really build that credibility with your audience really talk a little bit about yourself or your journey or why you have the credentials and why they want to download your free ebook so I actually love having more of a sales page. I think it looks a lot more professional this way than to just have like the little tiny blurb. Um, I found the strategy to be a lot more effective. Again, you would upload the file so that way they have this free guide here. So you can see here, here's my free affiliate marketing ebook. This is what I did for my own store. You can actually download this free affiliate marketing ebook. I spent hours and hours creating it. You can find that in the description box below. It has all kinds of great information and resources on it along with a lot of great other information that I highly recommend you check out. So from there, people can download my free guide, they can read my ebook, it's so great. And then from there, you can also promote your own products in a funnel matter. So when you're back at funnels, so for example, I could hit add page and let's say I'm promoting my own course or my own product, my own coaching service that I can add something onto this. So that way when people opt into my free ebook, it'll take them to a second page for me promoting one of my other products that are available. So Stand Store is amazing because not only can you upload your opt-in page and have a whole opt-in page created for you and have a whole sales page created for you, you can you can also create your own products like all of these different things, e-courses, webinars, recurring memberships, digital downloads, custom products, etc. The list is, is literally endless. And then when someone opts into that free resource to get your free information, they are automatically sold to on a, the next page. So not only are you selling to them through the free resource that you've created and the emails that you're following up with, but then you are having them directed to a sales page immediately after you've built that trust and built that initial credibility with them that if they wanna make an impulse purchase, it's available for them to make that impulse purchase, right? And not to say that imp impulse purchasing is not bad. I've made several imp impulse purchases that ended up being absolutely phenomenal. So after you've created a funnel for yourself or you created that freebie, you can then go to these three little dots and hit co copy funnel URL and that'll be the URL that you'll wanna put in your bio or that you'll wanna promote. If you just wanted to do it from the My Store option, you can see over here, this is what my free ebook looks like from the first option. And for that, you would just hit the stand store. You would copy that link right here. 
and it would take you to all the things, right? But I think it's more beneficial to just promote one thing at a time and use a funnel system instead. So how do we get our freebie out there? Well, basically you're just gonna go out to social media and you're gonna start posting content around your niche and end with a call to action telling people, hey, for more information, go check out my free guide, right? So if I'm trying to promote my childbirth checklist, right? I might be writing blog articles about childbirth and new parenting and then have call to actions within those blog posts about my free labor and delivery checklist. If I'm on social media, I might create reels about, you know, three things you need in your hospital stay and then create content about things you might need at your hospital stay and end with a call to action to be like, if you want more information on what you might need at the hospital stay, go download my free labor and delivery checklist. Or maybe you're just talking about your own story and delivering your own experiences about childbirth and say, you know what, I have a whole free guide that walks you through all of these tips and tricks on what I missed when I was at the hospital, right? So there's just so much content you can create in your niche and then have some sort of call to action to let people know where to go and what you have to offer and why they should take the time out of their day to go download it. I'm telling you this might have been very overwhelming, but if you go through and watch my videos in order, you will get so much insight, you'll get so much information, and you'll start to make so much money and see great results. And I'm so excited for you. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe so that I don't have to charge for courses. Thank you.